What is up guys, this is Cubewack here, and I am here to give you a... It's a little dusty. Oh, it fell off. Ah. <laughs> I'm here to give you a little bit of a Tokyo Ghoul Doves update. Um, because I know it has been a while since we've uploaded a video. It's been a very inconsistent series, and now we are at an even bigger gap than usual. This is actually a really big space between episodes and I apologize for that but I'm here to let you guys know the status of the series and just what is going on. So when it comes to the series we are continuing it. I've had a few people ask me uh, why I'm quitting Tokyo Ghoul Doves, why I'm stopping the roleplay. I'm not stopping the roleplay. The roleplay is still happening. Do not worry. It's still going on. It's just as I've said from the very beginning um, I get these videos out as often as I can and as often as Brandon can. We do our best, but um, when it comes to having to rely on other people as well as voice actors, we can't expect them to drop their entire life to help us. So sometimes we get stuck in situations like this. Um, and this video was also to address a lot of you people who only are here for Tokyo Ghoul Doves, a lot of my subscribers who only came for Tokyo Ghoul Doves and roleplays. Um, I kind of wanted to attract to, or talk to you guys with this video at the same time, so please watch this all the way through till the end so that you guys can actually get all the information I need you to know. And uh, yeah, um, as well as anybody else who just wants to see this. This is, actually goes out to all my subscribers, but I wanted to get the largest amount of you guys here for this video. But, uh, yeah, so, Tokyo Ghoul Doves, like I said, it is, it is continuing, it's just we're at a gap right now, and I'm going to explain why. That's the first thing I want to do, that's the title of the video, I want to give you the update you deserve. And, um, the situation is, is, um, I've, I've thought it, I've known it from the very beginning of starting this, um, from role-playing at all. The biggest thing you gotta deal with, the biggest thing that, the biggest problem that will arise is voice actors. And I shouldn't say problem, because problem has such a negative, uh, co co cognition, I think that's the word, cognition, something like that. Has such a negative feeling to it when you say problem, but it's not, like, always a bad thing. It's just, like, uh, it's a little bit of a delay because of voice actors, um... First off, a lot of my voice actors, for one reason or another, just hadn't sent me their lines, and I can't blame them for that. Um, I messaged them, they all got it pretty much dealt with, I have to have a few people come over still, and all of that, but for the most part, it was just a whole bunch of people um, taking a little bit to send in their lines. But for the most part, all of them, they are done now. I just have to have two people come over to do their lines here, because they're not like from YouTube, I know them IRL. And then, um, pretty much all the voice acting will be done, except... One of my voice actors, um, they kind of disappeared. I don't know where they went. I don't know if they... Because I know they were going out of town. They told me, I'm going out of town from this day to this day. And they left. And they just never seemed to come back. I don't know what's up. I don't know if there's actually, like, personal issues or anything. And I messaged them on Skype, like, hey, are you back? And they haven't replied. So I'm thinking what we're going to have to do for that one character, considering he's only had three lines thus far in the series is I might have to find a new voice actor, and that sucks because I really like the kid as a voice actor. He is, like, really committed, and I know when he is around, he was always on top of his stuff. He never lagged. He just, he sent in his stuff. So, um, we might have to be replacing him, though, just because, like I said, he's disappeared for a while now, and I don't know where he's gone. So, um, I can't just sit here and wait forever for him to return because then the series might never come back in case he never gets back on Skype or whatever. But, um, this, besides that, that is pretty much the biggest hurdle I'm having right now. I know Brandon's having his own hurdles to deal with, um, with his side of it, so it's not like I'm holding him up, it's not like he's holding me up, we're both kind of held up in our own ways. Um, so don't think that one of us is holding the other back, because if that, if that were the case, we'd just tell him, go ahead and upload it, we'll catch up. Like, we, we wouldn't, we wouldn't make each other wait forever to do it. But, 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 besides that, besides all of those actual issues, just know it is coming back. I can't guarantee when, I can't guarantee how, I don't know yet. It could be a month from now, it could be a week from now. I can't give you any promises. We just have a lot to work out, and then hopefully we'll be coming back. But, um, I think what we're gonna do for future roleplays, guys, like, of that caliber, of the Tokyo Ghoul caliber, where it's completely cinematic, a whole bunch of voice acting, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make those a few months in advance from now on. Make them a way, 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 way early, or have at least a few episodes backed up, so I can actually get them out consistently without having to make you guys wait. So I do feel bad. Um, I I don't feel like I'm I don't feel like I owe you guys anything. I don't feel like I owe you a video. I just feel bad because I know people enjoy it, and I'm making you guys wait. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm doing our best. We're doing our best. 
But, um, besides that, this is the part where I actually talk to you guys, the viewers, about a lot of things that have been bothering me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie, I've been a little bit bothered by some things within the fan base and the viewer base and all of that. And it's nothing, like, super negative. It's like, I'm taking it, I, I'm being a lot more of a jerk than I should be being, and I know that, I'm sorry. But, the thing that is happening that I want to talk to you guys about is comments it's mostly comments um i i i before i get into this and i start telling you guys what i'm having issues with i want to make sure you know that i am extremely grateful for all of the support that each one of you guys have shown the series for all of the views all of the likes for everything you guys have done for this series and all of the like the the excitement the enthusiasm for it. i i am a pre i am extremely appreciative of that but there's some things that I've, like, my, my biggest pet peeve on the internet, just because on the internet most of the communication is in type, and you could always go back and read it if you miss something for the most part, my biggest thing on the internet, my biggest pet peeve, is getting asked questions that I've already answered, and I know you've already been, you've been able to see the answer to, obviously, not just, like, oh, it's somewhere way in the fine print, like, no, it's there in your face, and I'm, I'm like, my issue is, is um, I answered in the comments a million times, and Brandon answered in his comments a million times about the mod, the mod, the Tokyo Ghoul mod, and they and we both told them it's a private mod that I made, and I am not releasing it to the public. I am not releasing the mod to the public to anybody. The mod stays within me and my friends only. I am not releasing that to anybody else. To anybody else. I do not plan on releasing that mod, and I've answered that in... Most of the comments in episode 1 and 2, I just kept answering comments. No, it's private. No, it's private. No, it's private. No, it's private. And then episode 3, I was kind of annoyed with it because that's like the biggest comment I get and I just keep having to re-answer myself when you could go down three comments and you could see the comment that says, Oh, this guy's not releasing the mod. Like, it's not hidden in the comments. It's everywhere in the comments. So in episode 3, I made the, the first comment posted on that video was my own that said, Before you comment on this video, please read the description. And the description said, um, for those asking for the next episode, and I answered that about how we're only going to be doing it as often as we can. And I still get comments saying, when's the next one? Make the next one. Da -da 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 the next one. But that's that's different. The mod one's the one that really gets me. That's That one's a little bit irritating too, just because I've answered it. But that one isn't as common and irritating as the mod one, because I've answered that a lot more. But then when it comes, when you go below that in the description, it says, To everyone who asks about the mod, this is a private mod that I made for myself and my friends to make our roleplays more unique than others. To give our unique our roleplays a sense of uh, originality, a, be a better sense of originality, and I won't be releasing it. I say that in the description of episode 3, and I'm still getting comments saying, Can I have the mod? What's the mod? Blah, blah, blah. And I actually made it now because I was tired of being a jerk in the comments, so I did it another way that's a jerk way. You could call me a jerk all you want. I know I'm apolo I am apologize for that. It's just, it's getting to me, and I have a really, I hate it about myself, but I have a really short fuse before I get angry about stuff, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it, but I, I, I'm, I'm trying to apologize for that right now. But I've actually made it now, so I have my YouTube blacklist setting set. So if anybody says the word next mod or the phrase Tokyo Ghoul, it sends it to somewhere where I have to check it before it hits the comments. And if anybody asks to make the next episode, it doesn't see the comments. If anybody asks for the mod, it doesn't get the comments. And if anybody says anything, I have Tokyo Ghoul for the videos that don't apply to Tokyo Ghoul. And if they say Tokyo Ghoul mod, I'll see it and I'll make sure it doesn't see the comments. Because I'm just so done with it. I'm so done with every comment being, can I get the mod? Can I get the mod? When's the next episode? Can I get the mod? It's not what I want. It's not the comments I want. I want comments that are actually like, like you guys could be like talking with each other about theories about the Tokyo Ghoul episodes or something. It's just, I don't like when I get comments asking, when's the next episode is a lot better. Don't get me wrong. When's the next episode is a lot better. And usually I won't, um, I, I try, those aren't as bad. I try not to make those as i don't try to make those seem as bad as the mod questions because those those are like okay that actually shows like hey i want to see the next episode and i should appreciate that i do appreciate that because that's enthusiasm for the next episode but when it comes to the mod questions i got people coming and commenting on a video that i'm comment haven't commented on any other one of my videos that haven't even seemed to watch any of my videos and they just ask that, and I'm like, do you even, like, you're not, you don't watch my channel at all. You don't support me, and you're asking me to give you a mod. 
Like that's like that's like a stranger on the street coming up to you and asking you for your for a, a pair of pants for you to go buy him a smoothie or something. If a, a stranger, you're not gonna do that for a stranger. You might do that for a friend or somebody who's been supporting you through stuff. You might be like, oh, you know what? We can go get dinner. We can go out to uh, go get some food. We can do something. But when it's like a stranger that you've never seen, you don't really like. You don't feel like. Why should you're like? Why should I give you this? You've never done. Well, I shouldn't say you've never done anything for me, but you've never shown that you care about me you've never shown that you even know i exist you just seem like some dude asking for this or that and i guess you could say it's different when people are relying on it because they're like homeless and stuff that's not what i'm saying i'm saying some dude who's just as average as you or just as average as me out on the street just asking you for stuff it's pretty much what it feels like and that's why i think it bugs me so much it's just like hey you're asking me for stuff but you don't even know who i am like i don't get that but um, I just wanted to pretty much get those things out there that, like, please stop asking those questions in the comments about the mod, about when the next episode is. You could ask what... Okay, okay, I I'm not I'm not quite done. Um, I just thought about it. If you're going to comment about... The, the thing that bugs me even more about these comments is when they're on videos that have nothing to do with Tokyo Ghoul at all. Um, like, I get them on, I got them on my Poke, on a Pokemon video once, I didn't, cause those weren't doing too good, that's, I, I stopped doing them, they weren't doing too well, not a lot of people were enjoying them, so I stopped doing that series, and on, like, one of the most, the, one of the very last episodes of it, somebody commented, can I have the mod, or, or was it, no, that was on a different video, on a different, like, on a weird update video that I made, I don't know, on some video, somebody commented just out of nowhere, can I have the Kakuja mod, and it never saw the comments, like I said, like I said, it will not see the comments, I am not bluffing, it will not see the comments, nobody will know you asked except me, but, um, on a Pokemon video, somebody asked, when's the next episode of Tokyo Ghoul, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe you should ask that on a Tokyo Ghoul video, that's just what I'm saying, like, I don't get, like, how you're gonna go to another video and just ask that, because then I'm like, w then it makes me wonder, okay, you really clicked on this video just to ask that? Because I know when you're asking a question like that, you're not thinking of Pokemon, you're not thinking of the video in front of your face, you're thinking of Tokyo Ghoul, you're not watching the video that I made here, like, that just, like, it feels crappy, it honestly feels crappy to know somebody came to a video and didn't watch it just so that they could comment, hey, when's this coming back? Like, I want to believe that people enjoy all of my content, not just that one area, you know? I don't, that's why that stuff kind of bugs me. It's just like, okay, so I made this video, but yet you're still only worried about this. So if you're go if you have to comment that and see it not see the light of day, please do it on a Tokyo Ghoul video. And please don't do it at all. But that's all I really had to say to you guys. I wanted to get that out there. It's been, uh, I had to get it off my chest. It's been bugging me for a while now, and I'm sorry if I'm being a jerk about it. I really am. But it really gets to you when that's all you get time and time and time again. And it really makes me, like, wonder, like, oh, do I, like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the comments asking for the next episode, that actually shows that there's enthusiasm and support there for the series. So that's a little bit better. I'm, I'm looking at that differently now that I've said it to myself. But um, when it comes to the mod, just stop asking because you're not going to get it. You are not going to get it. I'm sorry. Unless you become my friend and in a few months or something we're doing a role play together, you're not going to get the mod. I apologize, but that's it guys, so, um, once again, I'm sorry that it's been such a gap since the last episode, we are working our best to get it dealt with, but for now guys, I'm gonna get out of here, so if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to let me know in the comments by typing pop, just pop, P-O-P, -P. and, uh, we will see you guys next time, as always, my name is Cubewack, I am signing out, and I will catch you guys next time, peace!